Montana, truly a beautiful American treasure. Nestled in central Montana is the little town of Judith Gap, filled with good, caring, hardworking people. The town is miles away from a grocery store, but in this quiet part of the world, you won't find a traffic jam, road rage, or indifference. The highways and countryside are void of litter. Just outside of town, they've harnessed the wind that blows briskly through the mountain valley. Each turbine generates enough electricity to power 350 to 400 homes. Children still attend the local school that's been in use since 1911. And the most noise you'll hear is the distant sound of a train weaving through the mountains. The hard-working people of Judith Gap raise cattle, sheep, buffalo, and the American flag. Within Judith Gap, you'll find American Legion Auxiliary Unit and Post 70, located in a former bank building. Inside, auxiliary members started Flags on Main Street, a program designed to paint the town red, white, and blue on patriotic holidays. In 2014, our unit and our post lost members of the World War II generation. Their families donated memorials to us. That was the start of our Flags on Main Street project. Their goal was to fly a flag on every building, home, and structure on Main Street. We learned our patriotism from our World War II generation, and we thought what better way to honor them than to use their memorial money to purchase flags to put on Main Street, and on patriotic holidays, we show our patriotism by flying our flags. They involved the entire community. We asked our community members on Main Street if we could put flag holders on their buildings and residents. They were all enthusiastic about the program. I'm the owner of the Judith Gap Cafe. It makes me feel proud to display the flags on the highway. This truly is an American Legion family project. The Legionnaires have helped us with putting up the flag holders, the flags, and they've even donated their memorials to us. When the auxiliary came to us with their project, we were more than honored to help them out, and it really involved our full American Legion family. And they get the kids involved too by tying in their Memorial Day flag distribution with their flag education project at the local school. Even from their remote location, the word of this project quickly spread. We've been doing it for a couple of years. This spring, a lady passing through noticed our flags on Main Street, turned around, came back, took some pictures, posted them on You Know You're in Montana When, and it went viral from there. Students and community members that grew up here posted it on their Facebook and it spread from there. The amazing part of this program has been the enthusiasm that everyone has shown for it. The Legion, the Auxiliary, the townspeople, and when we see those flags, those red, white, and blue flags waving on our streets, we can't help but feel pride in America. A portion of the funding came from my mom's memorial. And when I see those flags flying, I am just so proud, and it makes me feel so wonderful to be a part of Judith Gap. Unit 70's patriotic display is just one example of the great work smaller American Legion Auxiliary units accomplish every day throughout our country, further showing the reason we are the world's largest women's patriotic service organization.